Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and welcome to Life is Strange, an interactive story-based game where we apparently play a chick in high school who develops time-rewinding abilities, which <laughs> probably doesn't lead to very good scenarios. Uh, I actually don't really know much about the story besides that general plotline, uh, maybe a couple of other things, mostly because I've been avoiding spoilers as much as possible, which has been hard considering that this game has apparently uh, actually garnered a pretty decent following. A lot a lot of people have said a lot of really good things about this game, so I'm definitely interested in playing it, especially since the last episode, Polarized, is coming out uh, in a, like a week from me recording this. You know, that's what I kind of was waiting for. I, I'm not a big fan of episodic content. Uh, I really don't like playing something over the course of an entire year if I can avoid doing so. So, you know what? Now I can play all four of these episodes at once, wait a week, and then get the fifth episode, and everything will be nice. So let's go ahead and get this started, and hopefully I don't get anybody killed or something. And if I do, at least I can rewind time. But I can't rewind memories. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Oh, by the way, you can also rewind time, so some of that doesn't matter. Still. Choose wisely. Oh, I'm dying already. We're in a storm. All right. I mean, yeah, it's a building, but every time, anytime I hear anything about storms, it's do not get to the tallest structure ever. <laughs> it's a great way for it to get hit by lightning, but I guess, hey, if I'm at the bottom of the lighthouse, that doesn't actually really matter. Okay. Still, I just, I don't trust buildings and storms. Oh, look, things are flying. Yeah, I don't trust any. Oh! Oh, no, you're, you're dead. That's, that's not something a lighthouse can withstand. <laughs> but we'll keep on try trying anyways. I like how she's not m commenting on the massive super tornado just yet. Holy shit. Yeah, there you go. So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm These in class. Everything's cool. Room. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I have no idea what's going on. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I feel totally haunted by the idea that I'm back in high school, but I'm a girl, and I have no idea what the fuck's going on. By the eyes of those ah, sad boy. mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. I can't Keep believe I still have this pencil case. Seriously, I should upgrade to the 21st century. In a dark corner, but I like it old school. A moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height? My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. She had a brilliant eye. So... 
She could have taken I do love my analog camera. I have to admit. I should take a quick I'm not picture a now. Fan of her work. That sounds like a bad idea, I but why not? Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war be- Shh, shh, I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, narcissism. <laughs> I don't know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. I hate you a already. They gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I've never been a big fan of things involving high school because it always makes me feel super Victoria awkward. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Ah! <laughs> Let's look at this equipment. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. Oh God, my lord. I'm such a photo nerd. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, let's read that. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. Carbon fiber but tripods. The has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. That is incredible. I actually have no idea if that's good or not. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I... I guess. <laughs> I don't share her enthusiasm for the art of photos, but I won't harp on I her for it. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Well, at least she appreciates her teacher. That's something. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Is Grunge Dead? Featuring the latest works from Mark Jefferson. Ten reasons to get electronic mail. Wait, like email? What year is this? <laughs> Top 10 reasons. Uh, one, it's just a good way to communicate, and that's all you need. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Yeah, you're in high school. You'll get better, I guess. What do we got here? Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Really? I mean... Yeah, you know, I'll be honest, that doesn't really look like an all that powerful computer. That looks like a pretty standard one, but I don't know anything about it. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Can I mess their artwork up? Like, just turn the layer off. I wouldn't be any- I wouldn't be mean, but just turn the layer off and make them go, Where the hell did it go? <laughs> Save, like, a second one of the original copy and then delete the layer and make them freak out. I- oh gosh, that'd be so mean. Hey there, Kate. Ooh, paper ball. I'm going to take this. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. What? Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. XOXO Blackwell Academy. What? Kate, what the hell? Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. What did you do? Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. I hope I didn't embarrass you. You seem quiet today. 
Uh, boof. Katie, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. That's it? That's 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 the length of the conversation? Ah, all right, yeah, it works out. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Hey, if I could have had the bestest, fanciest everything in high school, I definitely would have. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Actually, that's a good question. How old are we? I thought I think this is high school, right? Or is it college? I actually have no idea. I just assume it's it's high school. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's take a picture. Cameras are obviously very important. I must take a picture of everything, including Victoria being a suck up to the teacher. Mmm. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. <laughs> I like how I can just stand behind them and just kind of have an internal monologue about them. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. I don't. <laughs> he seems like he'd be a cool dude to talk to. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Yeah, especially when it falls on you and kills you. There we go. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Is this like some super advanced foreshadow? I mean, maybe not. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's super advanced when we literally had a dream where we're in the forest and lighthouse falls on top of us. Let's talk later, Max. All right. <laughs> I don't know anything about normal human interaction. All I do is spend time on my computer. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. What year is this? The best? Uh, excuse you, look how big this backside is. Alright? The best TVs, the best LED TVs are, like, super thin. You gotta know what you're talking about, alright? Ooh, photo contest. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Are you an everyday hero? Find out! Enter town! Wait, does it say that? Oh, enter to win! <laughs> enter town! <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Hey, to be fair, the typography here makes it look like the I is combined with the N. I... Everyday Heroes Photo Contest. Submit an image that best represents yourself or others in heroic action. Deadline October 15th, 2013. Ah, so it's 2013. Got you. This is more than, well, just a couple years ago. The winner will fly to San Francisco and represent their school in the National Everyday Heroes Competition at the De Young Museum of Art on October 20th, 2013. You may submit one image on an approved paper for consideration. For those 18 and under, a parent's permission form must be included with the image. Okay, so um, this is probably not college. Although, it could still be college because prodigies! Those jerks. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd mm. never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, I didn't have any time, do I have to? Wait, oh, okay. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hmm. Wow, that's very... That's very inspiring. I like you, Teach. I also like those... really odd-looking 2D sprite high school kids in the background. Nice. I'd love to take a picture of those. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Unless I can stare at the trash can or anything else. Uh... Ooh, a camera. Whoa, 
Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. You know, I say I'm not all that much into photography, but I actually guess I am once I think about it. I did <laughs> buy a Canon T3i, although that was mostly for video, which isn't actually a very great idea. Mm. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? You know, at least she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Mark Jefferson's noir beauty. Film versus digital. Who will win? I don't know, but I'm gonna leave now. Because it's the end of the day. Or the end of the class. I actually have no idea which either or. I wish I could talk more to Kate, because she looks really sad. I'm gonna snoop on her little thing. What's going on here, Kate? Waste. There's a tree. Something about leaves? Could just be a different assignment. Alright, we're finally leaving. <laughs> oh, darn it. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just you you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture in time. Because Max wants everybody to show you that she has She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Hey, a selfie with a giant camera will probably look really, really awesome. Better than taking it with a camera phone. Wow, who's Alyssa? Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. But what about this Evan guy who's coming up to her? Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Oh god, am I about to learn about every single person that's in this hallway? Okay, not that one. Missing, 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 what? These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Oh, that's not good. That's probably gonna be pretty relevant to the story. Missing. Uh, Arcadia Bay. Rachel Amber. Well, we'll keep an eye out for all of that. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Blood, give it up! Blackwell Academy needs fresh blood! Join our Halloween blood drive! Eh, I've never given blood. I've never had the opportunity. Hey girls! Hi! I'm gonna stand right in front of you, so you guys are just talking shit about me, but these earphones indicate that, well, I actually do care and it hurts my feelings and I just want to block out the world. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. They're just, they're just sitting in the hallway waving their hands around and everything. Uh, Alright. Let's go to the science room, or just look at it. Ah, oh, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. Who's a Warren? Is that the teacher? Or a friend? Ah, I need to be introduced to everybody. Hey, is this mine? I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Yours kind of attracts attention along this block. It's the only red one. I love that picture of Mom and Dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Hello, people. We have Justin. We have Dana. We have Stella. Uh, okay, let me see if I can remember. Uh, Alyssa, okay. And Evan. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Yay! A person who's nice to me! That's always good. Uh-oh. Is bullying afoot? 
Hey, 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 hey! I, I can't do anything about this, but hey, hey, hey! I'm looking at you. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. You could throw a shoe. That's what I'd do. And then run. And then run really fast, because that's a jock. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I don't know who Warren is, but okay. Let's get a move on. Oh, Halloween party. I'm just taking in the world. I'm not going to remember any of these people, by the way. <laughs> I'm really bad with names. I've legitimately forgotten so my best up. friend's names. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Uh, over the past decade, climate change has altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and uh, fauna. This has helped decimate the state's fishing industry. No, not the fishies. Don't need a PC. Missed the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Let's see. Oh, six hundred dollars for a laptop? Hmm. But how good is it? Six hundred dollars for a laptop doesn't seem that bad. Uh, on September 16th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria after I left it on the table. I really need this stuff for school, and my tablet has a lot of personal pics of my late cats. So I'm willing to pay small cash reward, no questions asked. Well, hopefully someone sees that and they go, Shit, I'm an asshole. I'll bring this back. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. That'd be awful. Have you ever had raw sugar? It's too much. It's too much, man. Too much said. Oh, Miss Grant, here's a teacher. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Oh, there you go. So she's the one running the science class. I still love how I'm walking up to people and just kind of like standing next to them going, hmm. Ah, yes, this person. Monologue to self for exposition. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. I wouldn't if I was a principal either. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? What? I guess we all should these days. This is easy! <laughs> For one floor? Oh, the science class and the art class up at the end of the right hallway. The cafeteria is to the left. I'd especially remember the cafeteria. And the computer lab. So, that's not hard to remember. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about, Chloe. Or... What is her name? Is it Chloe or Max? I know there are two chicks in this game named Chloe or Max, and I actually haven't been paying attention to what she's been called. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. He's wearing a sweatshirt that says beer in school. Edgy! The Bigfoot Stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Eh. <laughs> I never cared much for the sports. I probably should have, but meh. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. There's Juliet from my dorm, yet another Vortex Club disciple. What? What is a Vortex Club? <laughs> Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Is it a fraternity? Or just like a high school club? God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like that about him. Okay, I'm not interested in your sports trophy, so I'm just gonna get a move on. Wait, where am I going? Am I leaving? <laughs> These are questions I actually wasn't asked myself. I mean, here's a big fat exit door. And there's so many things kind of leading up to it. Lighthouse tour! Here's the lighthouse again. Come see the light! Left button to go to the main campus! I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first. Okay, we're going to the girls' bathroom! I guess that's... yeah, yeah, no, that's what she wants to do. Who am I to deny her from that experience? Hold up! New poster? Join the chest! Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Wow! 
This girl's bathroom is amazingly disappointing. It is awful looking. Well, hey, <laughs> that means it's equal with boys' restrooms. I hate Victoria Chase. Same, I guess. But maybe she's just misunderstood. I'm good to flow, thanks. <laughs> this poster must drive people to have sex. Abstinence makes the heart grow fonder. You can still love and learn without sex. Time is on your side. So is common sense. Use it! Uh-huh. Kate twerks for God. <laughs> Who writes that? Okay, alright, alright. Let's do the splashing. Or look at the mirror. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? And suddenly someone comes into the bathroom! Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. What? 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 No! What? what? No! What? That looked nice! When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Yeah, let's take a picture of the butterfly. Look at the stark contrast between nature and, uh, a janitor bucket. Oh, there's someone coming in the bathroom. Uh oh. A guy! What the fuck? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. Nice self talk. So, what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever oh, boy. tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Okay, this chick is very lucky we're developing our time rewinding Whoa. abilities right now. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give oh. me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? You go, Victoria. Take your Why hand out. It? Hold right mouse button to rewind. Oh boy. Okay, we want to unbreak my camera because it's very important to us. I now, did it. Can you give me I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Wow, she got used Anybody? to that pretty quick. Bueller. Matt Wowser, my old broken Arvis. camera is new again. Go, Keep it together, Max. Why Arvis? My pencil because case is still in the same like place. This. When I took my selfie, totally Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. So what you're saying is I should take another selfie. Still the same stupid picture. 
So everything seems the same as before. All right, let's take a selfie. Let's keep the timeline consistent. And any one of you could do that to me. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie can I do it any time? What if oh, I can't do it right now. Yet. I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. First. I need to go to the bathroom Once quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, I feel sick. I have to use the bathroom. You know, I, um, yeah, we're just gonna go. I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. <sighs> Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Who's after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What this icon means you've learned a useful fact. And give him the right answer. Hey, there you go. That's what I wanted to do in the first place. All right, the Degurian process or whatever. We're just gonna cheat. Thank you, Victoria. You shift to rewind faster. Oh yes, thank you. Jeez. Whoa. Uh, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Yeah, the Degurian process. Kaboof. The Daguerrean process. Okay, Daguerrean. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <laughs> <laughs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Yes! And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Hey, I have yes, someone to save. You are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. So an interesting thing is when we reach the end of the line... Ooh. When we reach the end of the reversing line, blood starts popping up. And if we keep honing Whoa. it down... I'm getting sick. I can't rewind any further. Yeah. Okay. So it's something tied in with our... Actual abilities? I don't know. I think I might just glitch the game. We're stuck here. We're embedded in time! Oh no! <laughs> I broke time already. Okay, it's alright. We have checkpoints and the ability to skip through cutscenes. What the fuck? How? How can that Or be? not. I was in the bathroom. I've been ripped off. He shot that poor girl. Don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too, and yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Uh, I'm Max, sorry, I had to reverse time crazy. twice. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. That was ridiculous. Okay. So don't rewind time too much. Gotcha. Hi, Kate. Kate probably wouldn't laugh at me, but how can I ask her about what's going on? You can't tell her about your time travel abilities just yet. All we know is we stick our hand out and time reverses itself. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. Aw, I wish we didn't. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. Aw, yes. Okay. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. <laughs> okay, can you repeat that? Oh, totally. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. So wait. 
Why... When I reverse a bit, does it show me? I guess I can, like... I get frozen in time for a little bit, and I can either continue rewinding... No ah. can do, Max. I understand. Okay. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. <laughs> She's so ridiculous. Hi! Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding. Not sure if I have one. Uh, let's go with this one. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Press control to quickly undo your previous actions using the rewind. Boop. Your latest action is represented by a mark on the gauge. Ah, okay, we're learning things. All right, so I can speak to him Excuse again. Excuse me. Never let one of photography's. And then go. Yeah, John Lennon said this. I can reverse your fucking lecture back at you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Ha <laughs> ha! Awesome! Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. Okay, alright. I wish I had time reversing capabilities. Like, legitimately. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. We have I plenty can't of tell time. anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. <laughs> I mean, honestly. We took a while to get to the bathroom last time. Stella is still there with her notes. Quick, move, Max. Oh, this Remember guy's getting his butt kicked. You can't help me at all, Logan. I know uh. you forget you always Okay, we're just gonna go sit in the bathroom for a while. I hate that science class with those nerds. I gotta Max, retrace every step. I gotta make sure to take a picture of the butterfly. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Oh. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Oh, she gave me, she's giving me this way too fucking complete. <laughs> them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's so I'm sick. too scared to get near this psycho. You, me. you are going really? to really wow. Okay, all right. Than drugs. Nobody I need a hammer to break it open. A hammer? Where would they? Get that gun away from me! Psycho. Where is it? Where am I going to find a hammer? Uh oh. Holy shit! I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, no, 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 I can no, no, help no. her. Where the hell am I going to find a hammer? Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm okay, so maybe there's sick. something on here. Looks like Samuel forgot to take the cleaning cart out of here. Aha! How convenient! Ever even missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me! You are not affected by the rewind. You retain facts and inventory objects. No. Whoa! That's extreme. Hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! I can't believe he kept a loaded gun. Uh-oh. Another shitty day. Don't go out there with your gun out. That did what is not happen? This cannot be real. What an idiot. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. You know what's going on, man. You have the ability to reverse time. You're all powerful. You can't do much else, but you know, it's still cool. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Jeez. Thank you, Mr. Madsen. 
The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Thank you, Mr. Principal. Are we gonna have to have a conversation about what's going on here? Because I could tell you what's up. I should tell you what's up. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? No, he's probably just thinking about all the other things that, involved, or that are involved in this school. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Okay, now you're being shovy. Report Nathan. Hide the truth. Uh... I should report Nathan, but what if... What if that chick gets in more trouble? Reporting Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. No, it's not. You just have a limited so imagination. What next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it. After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Okay, this icon means academic your action will have consequences. do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Sure, why not? You won't be able to undo your choices after leaving this area. Fine, all right. We're making changes. You look a little Uh, we're gonna hide the truth. So that way you're not super suspicious of things and I don't have to worry about the consequences. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You don't. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. That was a random exposition, Bob. No, he bump. does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Or I could tell him nothing. I could leave. I could just fuck right out of here without talking to him at all, right? That has to be a third option. Bye. Hold on, Max. Ah. Come back here. Come on! <laughs> I don't want to do anything with you, man. You're going to screw me over. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? Give me a third option! Make her a better liar! How about that? Uh Well, I don't know what- I don't know what's gonna happen! And once I leave, I can't reverse time again! Ah, uh, but I care more about my scholarship than anything else. I just saw Nathan- Yeah, waving a gun around, you're not gonna trust me. Okay, goodbye. <sighs> Jerk. I'm gonna live with the consequences. If something bad happens because of it, it's the game's fault, not mine. I can't see the future, only the past. 